All right, well, just we ran out of duct tape, so I guess this is a stopping point. I thought I'd give you guys an update on my cooling system I'm going to have here in this home at Peacock Road. Now, behind me over here, this is a, uh, a furnace on the lower side. Um, I bought that used from somebody probably. I think I paid like 150 bucks for it. Uh, I might take some components out and rig up a whole different type of heating system later. But right now I'm concerned about cooling because it's spring and it's going to be getting warm soon. Uh, but the nice thing about this uh, large basement here, which is completely packed full of stuff, since we moved over here and we're not completely organized, is that it's nice and cool down here. It's at least 10 degrees cooler down here in the basement than it is upstairs and it stays a pretty good temperature down here. Now I want to utilize some of that, um, I guess you call this a heat sink down here, uh, because the concrete in the ground, 55 degrees, and they're pulling in the heat from the room here. And uh, so what we're gonna do is circulate this air upstairs. Now I've wired up this furnace to run with a thermostat up there. Now right here on top of the thermos is an old uh, A-frame coil. This goes into a cooling unit of a uh, AC. Now, generally, this pipe here connects to uh, a coil that you have outside the house, and that's the round thing you see uh, making a lot of noise and turning out there and blowing air. Uh, and then that compresses the uh, coolant, and it comes in here through these pipes that run through this grill and uh, cools the air that's blown through here. Uh, well, I'm not going to do all that. I have my 1,000-gallon cistern buried on the other side of the basement over here, and, uh, and I'm going to circulate that 55-degree water through the pipes here to make it a lot more efficient. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to run 4,000 watts worth of energy down here. Just keep cooling a home, which is already cool down here in the basement. So, but first, my first step is I'm just going to set this up to circulate the air from down here. You might hear a little blowing right now. That's uh, right above me. We have laundry going, and um, it's blowing air out of this pipe right here. That's the exhaust for the heat, the uh, dryer. Now, a lot of people like to uh, heat the outdoors. Um, I don't like to waste my heat. That's probably 4,500 watts up there that the dryer is producing this heat and it's trying to close. So we got a little bit of moist air and it's nice and warm and it's directed down here to the basement. Now that's just going to help the house out when it, in the uh, winter time. But now when it gets warm here, I'm going to have to direct this on outside because we don't need extra warm air in the summertime. Uh, okay, so back to the cooling unit. Now I put my A coil on top of here. Let me squeeze by here. And uh, and above here, this is the. Uh, let's see if I got it. Yeah, there's the intake. This actually pulls the air in from the rest of the house, so this brings air back here to be sucked into the cooling or heating unit. Uh, but on both sides here uh, are the air ducts that run to the house to blow air up into each of the rooms. Here it is on this side above my cold room. And so what I'm lacking here and what the kind folks did when they moved out is tore, tore out the ducts and everything else. So I'm going to have to create ducts. And what am I going to do? Uh, spend a few hundred dollars on the metal and everything? No, I'm not going to do all that. You know me better than that. I'm going to use this half inch foam board. I'm going to cut it to size, which I did right here. And this is going to be an air manifold. So what I did was I just took one piece of foam board and I cut it the right lengths. So it's going to sit right on top of the rim here to cover up this. And I got this top on, so it's going to keep the air in until I cut a hole on each side that will match up with my air duct hole. And then I'm going to cut some more foam board, and I'm going to run it to the air ducts on the top. So this is going to come up. It's going to tee off. The manifold will tee off and to go both sides to run the cool or warm air, or just the basement air, into these long ducts that go down the house. And uh, 
heat and cool our rooms. So that's the quick update. I'll give you a demonstration later. I've already tested the AC unit with the thermostat and everything works. I just need, I just ran out of duct tape. Not like what you're thinking, but the real duct tape. This, um, this metal tape basically is better than anything. That's the type of thing you'll want to use in stuff like this. It's not going to come apart on you over time. So I'll finish constructing my manifold and give you guys an update later. Okay, I got the rest of the air duct cut and put in place. And I still haven't gone to uh, get some more duct tape. So there is uh, lots of air leakage. But I have uh, got it all together and put it in place where it actually works. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Something I didn't mention before. Here on the uh, side here, this is where the last person had it rigged to have the air intake. I I switched it to the bottom. It's also made to have it come through the bottom. For some reason, they cut it through the side here. But uh, anyway, I have it come through the bottom because I want that air to be brushing up against the the concrete here and getting cooled off as it, it gets pulled in here to the uh, the cooling system. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, my goal is to actually have only an 8,000 BTU window unit air conditioner, which I'd place where this board is in place of that board there. And this, there will be a wall just on the left of that board and going dividing out this room here. This is going to be the utility room. It's going to be where we have the connections for the solar panels and and it's also going to be the exercise room once we get stuff moved around here and made room for everything. Um, so, yep, I think we're good to go here. Uh, I don't know. Now, when it's only 80 or 85 degrees, I'm, I'm sure we can just circulate air down here into the basement. But um, And then we'll start circulating the water from the cistern into the A-coil there. And then uh, when it warms up even more, like maybe 90 or above, then uh, we may need that window unit. And I guess we'll just have to play it by ear and see how it goes, but I'll give you an update and see how everything's working. I have, to have this thing rigged up here just to be able to turn on at the breaker. But it is hooked up into the uh, thermostat upstairs, which I'll switch that back. <laughs> that thing just about lifted off of there with the ceiling. So anyway, there is uh, going through those ducts and then running down the span of the basement there and being blown into each of the rooms from the basement here. So we're good to go.